all jobs are hard when you do them for a living and particularly uh, small businesses, any entrepreneur, whether it's a restaurant or an accounting firm, whatever it is, small businesses, being an entrepreneur is hard. And uh, a lot of folks will have burnout. I understand the idea of creator burnout. I think of that as entrepreneur burnout, which is to say all entrepreneurship is hard. It's not unique to creators. What has Shopify done that has made it easier for Shopify entrepreneurs to exist or Square or Intuit done for small businesses that they serve? How do we bring that maturity to this new growing sector of the internet economy, which is essentially audience based businesses, creator businesses. That's how I, I think of it. And that means, by the way, that the, the most mature creator businesses are not going to be solo efforts. Casey Newton just wrote about his one year on platformer the other day. The things that perform really well for him are really high quality journalism. But he also sees when he doesn't send a newsletter one week, his signups go down. And so the thing that's driving his business is more high quality journalism, but it takes a lot of time to do that. But he's pressured, on the other hand, to do the work of the daily or the weekly newsletters because that's what's driving his audience development. That's an amazing product that this guy has, and he's being asked to do too many jobs to really optimize the growth of his business. So what is Pico's role in making that a sustainable, healthy entrepreneurial pursuit? Casey by launching Platformer figured out that there's demand for exactly what he's doing, but this is probably nowhere close to the final resting equilibrium of what his business looks like, what it looks like to deliver that content professionally to an audience. The common denominator is infrastructure that saves as much time as possible while creating as much value for entrepreneurs as possible. That's the only sure thing that I think Nick and I can bet on.